on the Scotchville podcast. We're gonna have a great rest of your, uh, great rest of the day. We're gonna have lots of fun, and we will see you soon here on the Scott Show podcast. And isn't that exciting, folks? We're talking about the Scott Show podcast. We're doing it up. We are talking about the eight teams and sixteen teams that would make it into the NCAA playoffs if the playoffs were different. And we're going with the top 16 teams. We'll do that first. All right, so the rules of this engagement are three teams per conference. Uh, That ended up only being an issue when it came to the final draw. And I think that's an issue. But other than that, we have some great games coming up here. 16 teams in the playoffs. This is fantasy booking, of course, since we're not actually getting this. All right, so it would have been Clemson versus Oklahoma State. Now, Oklahoma State got in on the idea that three teams per conference, Oklahoma State would have been the last in the Big 12 uh, to get in. As the next game actually had Oklahoma and TCU. So Oklahoma and TCU both get in the playoffs, and they have to play each other. How trippy is that? And then we had Georgia versus Notre Dame in a definitely a battle of a nutrition uh, battle of attrition. There you go. Alabama versus Stanford. Now I would want to see that game. That would be one hell of a game. I'd want to see that game. Ohio State against UCF, the University of Central Florida, gets Ohio State in the first round. And Wisconsin versus Washington, the Huskies and the Badgers. How cool would that game have been? Man. Auburn versus Miami. And USC versus Penn State. Now, that that's the way it would have broken down. Uh, broken down. Uh, we would have had Clemson uh, and Oklahoma State against the winner, USC Penn State. Um, so, I mean, we could have ended up with Clemson and Penn State. We could have ended up with... Uh, you know, Auburn and Oklahoma could end up with uh, Washington and Notre Dame in kind of a weird match. And you could end up with Alabama versus UCF or Ohio State versus Alabama. How cool would that game have been? That would have been awesome. But let's go to the idea of the top eight teams. Uh, the top eight teams. Now we had to change the rules a little bit. And it's only two teams per conference, um, as dictated by the rules. And that changes up things just a little bit. You guys will see where this changes, um, and it really messes things up. Alright, so we have Clemson, number one seeded against Miami, number eight. Miami gets in being number ten in the nation. But, Auburn does not get in the top eight. And Penn State does knock it in the top eight. That knocks those two teams out and moves up two teams more deserving, I think. And winners of their, you know, winners or having great seasons in their own conferences. So Clemson versus Miami would be the first game. Of course, this game already happened. Clemson won, so we kind of had that quarterfinal anyway. Uh, But if it was an eight-team playoff, that's what you'd end up with. Oklahoma and USC. Oklahoma and USC. That would be a barn burner of a game. Of course, I think Oklahoma. Yeah, I think that with these 16 teams and with the 8 teams, I think that they should host it at their field um, in the first round. I think that would be cool. Let them host it in their field first round. Home field advantage. So it would be in Clemson. It would be in Oklahoma. Then you have Georgia the Bulldogs against the Wisconsin Badgers. That'd be one hell of a game. And Alabama against Ohio State. Now, you guys want to figure out who deserves to be in the playoff? Play the eight teams. Alabama and Ohio State. There you go. So that is the little bit of difference that we would have if college football went from four teams in the playoff to either eight or 16. You had to add in the rules, though, because... It would have looked really messed up. 
But I'll give you guys the eight teams if there were no rules on the uh, per conference rules. It would be Clemson and USC, Alabama, or uh, I'm sorry, it would be Clemson and USC, Georgia and Auburn, Oklahoma and Wisconsin, and Alabama and Ohio State. So you could have the uh, SEC kind of rule, rule the roost there. But we did not get that this year, folks. And I would be excited to see that happen. Eight or 16 teams in the playoffs. So that was my what if. Thank you guys so very much. Maestro Kickmon. Mm-hmm.